On the left, we have our uh, flat profile, and then on the right, we've made some color correction adjustments. We have a much richer image here that represents what I remember seeing. <laughs> All right, welcome back party people. Today we're gonna be working in Lightworks once again, and we're gonna talk about color correction. What do you notice different about the video on the left here versus the video on the right? Those are the same machines recorded on the same day, but from two different devices. The video on the right was captured with a GoPro Hero 10 using the flat color profile, and the video on the left was captured with an iPhone 12 and you can notice right away there is a big difference between these video colors. Today in Lightworks, I'm going to show you how you can use color correction to achieve a consistent color across multiple video capture devices. So we're going to focus on correcting this video on the right hand side to make it look more consistent with the video that we captured on the left hand side here and also what we perceived with our own eyes. But one word about shooting on the GoPro 10. I shoot in the flat profile because I like to bring the video back to the editor and do post-processing on that video. So there's two reasons why I shoot in a flat color profile on the GoPro. It just takes less processing from the camera and the battery lasts longer. And a lot of times we're out on multi-hour, sometimes multi-day trips, and we want those batteries to last as long as possible. And number two, I like to put my own kind of artistic touch on the color of the video dependent on how cool or how warm the day is and how I'm feeling at the time. I remember this razor very vividly. It was a bright red razor. It was a, it was a fairly new model. And uh, looking at the footage that we captured from the, uh, from the GoPro here, you can see that it uh, very orangish brown looking here versus what we have on the other side here. It's a bright red. It really pops there. I learned this through trial and error. I am not a colorist. I'm not a video expert. I'm not any kind of editor expert or anything. Uh, I just do this by looking at it with my eye and then I just kind of fumble around controls within uh, Lightworks to really kind of achieve what I'm trying to achieve. And for me, it's trial and error and trial by fire. So I can appreciate folks that want to get input from a lot of different perspectives. And I just bring one perspective to the table and it's a very amateurish perspective. Let's take a look at what we think we can do in order to resolve this color consistency here. So we have this very orange color on the right. We have this bright red that pops really really good on the left. Just by looking at this video, it seems very warm. And by the way, you know, in the flat profile, you have very low contrast image. You have all kinds of settings you need to play around with. Those will affect how this video is perceived. And I will, you know, change those eventually. But right now, I'm really focusing on this color. So I'm just going to go down to my sequence editor here and I'm going to add an effect. Let's try color temperature. So we'll apply the color temperature effect. And let's suppose that our color temperature is way too warm. And so we want to start to cool that up a bit. So I'm going to start slowly pulling this slider over. And you know, a couple of things you can start to tell already. Notice the color of the road is starting to get a more bluish tint to it. The sky is starting to get a somewhat bluish tint to it. And you can see here that uh, we're still not moving the needle on that orangish color on the razor there. Let's add a different effect to this image. We'll just do a color correction here. Let's add some saturation to this image just to see if that helps out. And basically, this does exactly what you would expect it to do, right? It just intensifies the color. You can see that there. So the orange gets oranger, so to speak. So that's not gonna give us what we need. Now, let's look at our color wheels up here. The one thing that you wanna to start to notice is that orange is very close to red here. So let's go take a look at this color wheel in a little bit more detail. I think that discussion will help us understand what we need to do in order to correct this video color. 
And this is an article by Greg Clayton, Art 260. I think it must be some college professor. But notice color is in 3D. We have various colors on here. We have blues, we have purples, we have red, oranges, yellows, etc. Notice that as we move from the center of the wheel outward, we get more color, right? So if you take this orange color here, we have a lighter shade of orange, we move out and we have just more intense color. That is what the chroma value represents. So notice we have different chroma values of orange. Now as we move around the wheel, we have different hues of the color. And uh, for example, we have a yellow here and then adjacent to it, we start to get into the orange hues. If we look at the depth, which is the light values, you can notice that these light values change from top to bottom. So we see how they're stacked here. So we have the darker colors, on the bottom and as you work your way up the stack you get the lighter colors so if we apply this color wheel to our video we know that we have this orange hue so we're not even on the correct color at this point in time so what we really want to do for this particular video is really start to manipulate the hue we're going to move counterclockwise around this wheel and become more red so what we want to do is really start to change the hue and then once we get the correct hue we can start to work on the saturation value of that hue and then also the lightness value of that so let's go back into lightworks here and i'm just going to go back to our original screen here all right so i'm going to use these two different videos here to really kind of dial in this color i'm just going to play around with the color correction effect at the moment and uh, within the color correction here there's some tabs up here at the top so you see a balance where we can do the white gray and black balance we have the main tab here that allows you to control you know a lot of the different saturation brightness you can play around with the colors in the shadows and how much color is in the shadows and the midtones and the highlights a lot of the things that you can also do with the curves here uh, and similarly with the RGB but notice over here we have a tab that says HSV and so if we take a look at this tab we start to see the color wheel that we were looking at before and uh, notice here we have a hue slider and uh, when we were looking at our color wheel before we noticed that if we bring the slider one way our image starts to get more yellow and then if we keep going it starts to get green so you can notice that here and if we start to pull that slider over to the other direction, we start to get more red into our image here. And you can start to notice the clay, probably a bit too much red at this point, but let's start to play around with some of the other values here. So we're gonna start playing with our saturation here and you can notice we can take color out and then we can add color in. I'm just gonna pull this down a little bit I think the road is a bit too much red at this point so I'm just gonna try to leave it right there and then we have our lightness value down here we can really start to play around with that too and uh, bring some of that lighting out and so I think I'm just gonna take a look at the coats on the passengers here and the driver here start to notice the blue is still a little bit off and the yellow is still a bit off so let's change the hue just a little bit to go back so this coat's just a fair bit right somewhere right in there and let's play around with the saturation value here it's got a little bit more color in it maybe the lightness let's see how this looks as compared all right so definitely we've got a good color of red going on here we can see our grays we've got light coming from a different direction so uh, that's definitely going to show up differently as far as the colors on the jackets there but you can tell that the color in her jacket is not popping as well as the color in the jacket over here all right so now let's go back to our main tab and let's start to Work on the shadows and the midtones and the highlights. I think we've got a case of being way too warm here. It's way too far. All right, so we're starting to get something. Let's try to bring down the midtones a little bit. And 
play around with the highlights. We've got a good uh, solid red color to the razor there. I think we're a little bit off on our warm color here. We're much further along. That's probably a little too blue there. Something about along in this area here, and you might want to brighten it up a little bit. But you could also go into here to your curves. I generally do this S curve where I bring down the shadows and uplift the highlights. And then in order to get that kind of matte look, I usually bring up the bottom end here to about an eight or a nine. You can see how it starts to bring in that kind of matte look. I see some videos where it gets, uh, where the shadows are really matted out a lot. I don't like it too awfully strong, but I guess you could probably somewhere between nine and 11 and 12 for my videos is where I usually put it. They're not in the exact same lighting conditions here, but you can see that uh, our video here looks way better than it did before. And uh, so we'll do a before and after here. So there's our difference there. So on the left, we have our uh, flat profile. And then on the right, we've made some color correction adjustments. We have a much richer image here that represents what I remember seeing and how I want this video to be displayed to my viewers. So we are on the right track here for sure. It's not going to look exactly like this particular video because the sky was just really really whitish gray at the time and there was literally no sun out when we recorded this in the morning this was the beginning of the trip and as the day went on we got the blue sky started to kind of open up and again this was a different area on top of the mountain so the uh, clay was much drier up here so the color is going to be much different still need some fine-tune adjustments for this but we are much better now so yeah, I think we were able to make these two videos here a little bit more consistent. All right, so I hope this information was valuable to you. Even though this demonstration was in Lightworks, most video editors have similar functionality. So you should be able to draw some parallels between what was demonstrated here and how you can achieve similar results on your particular video editor as well. So that's going to wrap this video up. Until next time, skill up and ride, van up and go. Just remember, Everybody needs a plan B. Cha-cha for now.